Welcome back to this newsletter, Business Profits Training. I'm going to show you how in 30 days you can put together a newsletter that can bring you an income. We're on day two and we're asking a very important question, can I make money? It is essential that you are asking this question very, very early on in order to make sure that you're building something that's actually going to make you money. Yes, you want to provide value to your audience, 100%, always, always want to do that. But at the same time, you want to make sure that you can get paid money. Now, we talked about niche before in video one. So if you're interested in that, then you can go back and check the first video. You'll be able to see the card on the screen now. We talked about this information under here and under each of these cards I shared that information so just go back and check video one it will also be in the description but when we're talking about can I make money we're not talking about whether the niche is profitable and as I said in day one we talked about what are the types of profitable niches and how could I possibly make money we're now talking about you individually because I might be able to find niches that will make lots of money but if I don't feel comfortable in them if they don't resonate with me then you know if they don't um allow me to use my skills, then I'm not gonna make as much money as maybe a niche that is smaller or is less um, known. That actually might make me more money because it's something that I can talk about. So there's three things that we need to consider and we're gonna go through these one at a time. So the first thing we need to consider is money, okay? Now money, I know that sounds really, really obvious because the title of this video is Can You Actually Make Money? But we wanna make sure that there is actually money flowing through this particular niche. So are people actually spending money on this topic? Because it might be the case that it's a popular niche, but if people don't tend to spend money then that's gonna be a problem for us because we want to make money. So you want to actually check that people are spending money and that's really easy to do with some market research. And as I said again, can I make money from this niche? So it's good to see what other products and services are out there within your niche that people are selling and think about whether you could also make money selling those particular things. You might find that there are products out there but they don't work within your region. Maybe it's more of a physical product and you're not interested in that. You wanna be completely digital. So this is really important. How can I make money from this? Okay, it might be something where, you know, you're the one that's gonna offer the service as part of your newsletter, but you've got to be available nine to five and you can't because you've got kids. So you need to make sure that yes, people are spending money in this particular niche, but also that you can make money from it. Maybe you can go 100% affiliate and selling other people's products, find a niche where you don't have to be talking to people on the phone via messenger, maybe just selling completely digital downloads, whatever it is, is the money able to be spent by consumers and can it flow to you as well? The next one that links into this is members. And what I mean by that is, are there people already out there that are in groups or memberships that are within your niche? So this is where you might be looking out in the real world. So one obvious one that comes to mind is things like gym memberships, so the people that join uh, memberships or clubs that relate to this particular niche. If it's online, you might be looking at places like Facebook groups, or you might be looking for Instagram theme pages or TikTok theme pages, somewhere like that, where you can find people that come together in groups within your particular niche. So if you were going into a niche and you had a newsletter, for example, on fishing, first of all, you'd say, right, well, what kind of products or services are people buying? can I make money from these products and services? And then whereabouts would I find these people online? Are there Facebook groups where people who are interested in fishing hang out in or things like that? So you need to find people that are interested in your niche. Now you don't have to necessarily join these, although that will help with your market research and help you find products and services. But initially we're just looking for numbers. Okay, we're looking for nice high numbers that people are coming together in groups 
that are going to consume your product. You can find Facebook groups with 50,000, 100,000. That's a really, really great sign that there's enough people. If it's something that's a little bit more niche, then you might be, you'd be able to find your um, audience on somewhere like Reddit. But as I said, if you know something about this niche already, you'll probably know where the members of this niche hang out. And the last one that I want to talk about, which I think is really, really important, is motivation. Because you're going to be talking about this topic for a while. I mean, if you're planning to set up your newsletter and flip it, so you want to set it up, run it for a couple of months and sell it to a business or sell it online, that's great. But most people will be building this because they want to integrate it in part of their business or they want to be making long term income from it, maybe to quit their nine to five. So you need to have the motivation to be doing this for six months, a year, two years. And what that means by that is, is this something that you're willing to write content about? Is it something you can talk about? Because if you're already interested in something, you've probably got the motivation in order to talk about it. So really challenge yourself with that. And is there a topic out there or one of your niches that you've identified that is a possibility that you say to yourself, yes, I could talk about this for a year or two. I can think about content ideas or I know where to go in order to get those ideas. So I would never take on something like fishing because I haven't got a clue what's right or wrong. I don't know a single word of terminology to do with it. It doesn't make any sense for me to follow down that particular path. But if there was something that I was interested in or I had some knowledge about, then I know that I would more likely to have the motivation to keep pushing, drive, get that newsletter as big as possible, as quickly as possible and provide value to the audience. So there are the three things for you to use in order to help you get your list of possible niches down to something a lot, lot smaller, a lot, lot more manageable so that you can start to pick that one business idea. And that's what we want to be able to do by the end of day two is have that one newsletter business idea that we're going to go after. What we can do then is we'll move on to day three, which is thinking about how we are going to get paid. Because again, this is really, really important. We know that the money's there in the niche, but how are we actually going to get paid? What method are we going to get paid at the start and when our newsletter is established? That's going to be in day three. Stick around for that and we'll see you in the next one.